What's up, guys? And we're welcome back to the 67th episode of the Nobes FC Career Mode. Last episode, just incredible support for the brand new season. Honestly, you guys are just the best, and I just can't wait to see where this series goes in our second season in the Premier League. As you can see right now, we're on the short list. We have some players that we have been scouting and we did put in some offers for. There's Ben Godfrey, about 24 million. We negotiated with Granada. He's 27 years old. He's got some good, good speed on him. Honestly, I showed you these these transfer offers that I did make and honestly, I saw a couple of comments about that, about them, but other than that, it was just basically support for this series. I asked you for some input. Honestly, I'm going to be going with, I think makes sense for the team right now. It's really between Godfrey and Kara, but maybe if like the wages are a little bit too high for the team right now, maybe we can go for Fofana and then we're going to have to actually apply the face mod, but I'm really looking into Kara. He is foreign. He's German center back, right back. So maybe he can help us out out there Fofana is there as well he's young but I really wanted experience so a guy like Tilo Kara also the third kit contest from last episode just I'm, I'm like I'm, I'm very happy that you guys are actually participating in that and if you'd like to see how to enter it you guys can go back to the previous episode I'm gonna leave a timestamp to when you know it actually shows the third kit design and it's gonna be from now till the end of the season there is some pretty good designs guys and I can see some of the the likes on the kit so as you can see there's a bunch of very very good kits and i told you guys that you really didn't need to struggle putting the the logo the sponsor because that's all going to be done on my end so if we take a look at some there's six likes there's seven likes so at the end of the season the most voted the most liked kit is going to be the one that is our third kit for next season there's some very very good designs i'm happy that you guys are partaking in it and let's just take one at random right now the one with the most likes is i think this one from a user named nob 66 no that's not me <laughs> this one also has 10 upvotes on it so let's just say this one does get picked i'm just choosing one at random i can go ahead and open the fifa kit creator and boom it'll open up the kit right away and then what i can do is just go ahead and put whatever sponsor we have next season straight on it the logo straight on it everything straight on the kit yeah look i could just easily import it depending on what our sponsor is next season it doesn't really matter i could just change it to that i could put the crest i can put the branding and i i thought i did a good job of explaining you the entire contest and you guys can go check out the previous episode to see how you'll enter and i'm going to be mentioning this on every single episode till the end of the season and we're going to be taking a look at the end of the season which one is going to be the most upvoted and that's going to be the one that is going to be our brand new third kit for next season so let's go ahead and make some contract offers right now uh, i can maybe delegate and no we can't really see kara can we delegate no so do we really have to go in but i'm really pushing for kara because if you see his defending stats and his passing and his technical ability it's a, a, a little bit better than godfrey i know he's got some potential on him but we signed our fair share of english players so that's really why i was thinking about fofana i was thinking about kara i was thinking about mavropados but then the injury prone trait just it turned me off quite a bit but tilo kara he's literally in his prime right now so let's go ahead and make a contract offer c about how much we're going to be able to get him for and if i think it's a little bit too high for like what nobs fc is actually paying their players then maybe we need to look elsewhere it's going to leave us with about 8 million 84k we need to send our scouts back out i think he's going to be wanting crucial first team player and that's exactly what he wants three years so he'll be 31 when we need to reevaluate his contract and this could just bring some much needed experience to the side let's accept no release clause and yeah that's the thing right now that he's not telling me what he wants but i know that he's around like the 81 82 mark and if he has maybe a couple good games maybe he can be boosted in potential next season and actually exceed his current potential right now tomohiro is our highest paid player at like uh i think it was 95k and i think tilo Kara would like something like 80k 85k or maybe even like 75,000. i don't want to be doing any signing bonuses at the same time we need to save some of our money for our scouts so let's try 80,000 for tilo Kara crucial three years and if it gets accepted i'm gonna be going with kara because i think this is the one that i would want and i saw some comments in support and some comments really didn't say anything about the transfers but i think a 
centre-back is what we need and we've signed ourselves the German centre-back Tilo Kera from Newcastle United, played for PSG so he, he brings some, maybe some Champions League experience to the side as well and then maybe we can take a look at maybe for Fofana next season, maybe his valuation is going to skyrocket next season but we can slot him straight away into the lineup and he instantly like makes the team better, he was playing for Newcastle, now going to be playing for Nobes FC, 82 overall, he's got something like 75 pace with 78 sprint speed, good strength at 88, heading accuracy is there, and honestly I think we've signed ourselves a very very good center back. So there it is guys, 26.5 million for Tilo Kerr, there he is with Olaf Lovgren, and like I said guys, he brings some much needed experience to the club, as you can see he's one of the oldest players in the team right now, and he just, it just looks like he's suited for a Nobs FC kit, if we go ahead and change his development plan, it can't go up because I think he might have gotten to his highest rating but if he continues to play well he's in good form all season we can maybe choose the one that has the lowest eta 39 weeks maybe a sweeper maybe a ball playing defender to get maybe those stats even higher than 83 so let's do that if he's in good form it's going to continue to go up and i think the number four actually does suit him well and like i said guys he's going to be like a leader in the squad he's going to help us out and maybe achieving europa league this season winning some of those cup competitions and then i also do think that we may be need to send Paul Kerr out on loan because he's not going to have that much game time this season. But at the same time, you'll never know. And we also do have Simonis on the transfer list. We're still waiting to sell some players. So maybe not done in the transfer window right now with a couple days left in it. His hair is so big that it goes through the amount. <laughs> look at his hair, guys. But he does look very, very good in a Nobs FC kit. And I can't wait to see him start playing for us. As we do have a match coming up against Burnley, we're back down to about 8. 0.25 million. I also need to go ahead and deal with Meyer. Now, last episode, he was one of the players that was released, and somebody actually made a good point. We should maybe be taking a cut from these players that do get released from the academy. So, Kevin Meyer, we're going to go ahead and promote him to the senior team. We need to get rid of him. We got rid of Perea, and we also do need to get rid of Fry, but maybe we can take like 50% of their valuation because it's like we're actually selling them to another club. So, let's take. Meyer, for example, he's a striker. He does have a valuation of about 725,000. We can send him to the, to the new club and we could take like 50% of his valuation. Same thing with Perea. I think he was worth like 4 million, something like that. And Fry, I think, I don't know exactly his valuation, but I'm going to go ahead, send them to their new clubs, take 50% from each sale, and that's going to be added to our transfer budget. So yeah, as you can see, we have 8.25 million. If we take a look at the transfer hub right now, now we do have Fry with a valuation of 500k. So we're going to take 50% of the sale. So 250,000. We're also going to be taking 2 million for the sale. I'm going to be taking 50% because I feel like it's all right. So right now we're getting 2,250,000 for those two player sales. And we also do have Meyer in, uh, no, uh, Meyer in the club right now that is going to be sold on. So 725,000. So with all that, we're going to be getting 2.6125 million so that's going to be added to the budget it's a little bit more incentive to you know actually do this at every season we're going to be taking 50 percent of the sales now we can finally advance burnley coming up next all these players are going to be going to the respective clubs there is the contract negotiations between us and godfrey us and fofana i'm just gonna let them expire because we did go for tilo carer and honestly i really do think this guy could be great for us he could really really help us out also i didn't mention it but meyer was randomized and he's going to to Harrogate Town. That's like another player going to Harrogate Town. They signed a bunch of our players. Now, okay, Godo went there. Kevin Myers also going to be going to Harrogate Town. Imagine we make them into a fantastic team along the line with all those players. And now it does put our budget at like 10.8625 million because of all the sales, because of everything. So that's our budget right now. I, I don't know if we're going to be going for anybody right now in the, the window now. We can maybe go in January, maybe another pre-contract signing to help us out guys there is going to be players with expiring contracts at you know the end of the season nobs fc burnley first match on nobs park let's hopefully start off with a big victory so it's great that tomohito is back from his injury he's not going to be missing any games we're going to start karen skamaka tunjov garner Azmae continued to play so well last time and we do have tilo care partnering him up also what i forgot to do right now is promote ourselves a backup goalkeeper and it's definitely going to be isaac king he was in the academy i'm I'm waiting till the end of the 
a month to start scouting once again. 61 overall, Isaac King. Need to definitely put him like long sleeves because those skinny arms just get me so frustrated. He's going to be playing a couple games here and there. Going to be playing definitely the Carabao Cup. Got ourselves a young backup goalkeeper, Al Sharani now. A little bit more established. Made some fantastic saves last episode. Slowly but surely, guys, we're getting with the bigger transfers. Right now, Tilo Kara is... Uh, the most we've ever spent on a player and it's only gonna go up from there guys maybe even some regenerated players from other teams academies could be like the potential stars that we could sign there's some big big center backs there's some regenerated players i don't know if i want to pick up real player regens just like generated players and that's what the fifa tracker is for you guys we're actually lining up really really well there hopefully there's no copyright because i might need to cut it out of the video and also I changed the ball, guys. We're wearing our home kit for the first time. Let's get a big result in front of our home fans. Garner struggled to get the touch there, but he makes up with a good pass right back to Kara. James Garner. Looking to get forward. Stopped in his tracks, but he gets back the ball. Isn't he sh the constant pressure. Such an annoying trait from every single team. Tunjov. Good strength by Georgi. And Tomohiro. Keep going, Tunjov. Gonna get forward. He's got options in there, including Skamaka, including Lance Cairns. Sends in the ball. Can... All right. <laughs> okay. Great delivery. Nobody gets on the end of that one. Everybody's just sleeping. What kind of start is this? As Garner putting pressure. Good block. Cairns forward. Can he send it into Skamaka? Good ball. Skamaka first time. One mistake by Burnley. Skamaka makes them pay. Cairns having a better start this season. And he lays it off to Skamaka, who scores his second. Garner with a good interception. Cairns, first time pass. Great finish. 1-0 up. Let's sit to Jerome Watson. Koike getting forward. Tunjov gonna send. It was for Ali Koike, but look at Jerome Watson. Look at the burst of speed on Jerome Watson. Get in there, guys. That's a great ball. Scup. Oh, Jerome Watson, come on, man. That's what I wanted from you all this time. And I saw a comment about playing Jerome on the left, playing Nishimura on the right. And what's happening? Jerome Watson sends in a fantastic cross. Amazing start, guys. That all started by Tunjov's excellent ball over the top. Skamaka's there just swinging his foot at it. Pope this time not going to be saving everything. Third goal in the Premier League for Skamaka in the same amount of matches, guys. This is such a great start. Let's see how many we could put in against Burnley, who honestly haven't been that threatening. And just as I say that, Almost able to walk through everybody. But Tunjov. Let's go guys. Let's get a third here. Go George. Send him. Great ball to George Marsh. Excellent touch. Can we get a first half hat trick for Skamaka? They're going to miss everything. And then Cairns. Misses the simplest of headers. Nishimura just whipping it in. Causing all sorts of problems for Burnley and Cairns. Can't direct it on target. As nobody's going to close him down. Cairns. Skamaka. Can we give it back into Lance Cairns? Oh, that's a guy who's determined this season as Lance Cairns just going to look to hit it. Forces a big save by Pope. Nishimura, Tonjov. What a game, guys, we're having. What a start. Oh, the ball in behind. Skara putting some pressure. That's a great ball in. And Al Sharani bailing out the defenders right there who probably weren't on the same page. It's his first game, guys. Might have a little bit of nerves, but we're doing well. And then Al Sh what a strike by Ian. That one just going wide. That could have been an incredible strike. Full time. Thank you very much. What a start to the episode. 2 0. Cairns with an assist. Jerome Watson with a fantastic cross. Al Sharani with a big save. The clean sheet in Kara's first match. And honestly, Jerome Watson, what a game. Yamaka with the 9.0. I'd like to see Jerome Watson's rating only a 7.0. He got an assist. He seemed to have done well, but it looks like Skamaka with the match ball. But I'm going to keep Jerome Watson in mind for a player of the episode. Because honestly, his first game hopefully gives me some hope. And next up, we do have Millwall in the Carabao Cup. Roshan Williams reading some of the stuff that people have been saying. I literally played you in the first two games. You didn't play this one because it was Kara's debut. Negotiations over. Let's see. Indrit is only going to be out for about five days. El Masri, the Egyptian center back who looks massive. Loan to buy 
but let's just go ahead with a straight two-year loan. Simonis, it's been real, but he just didn't grow as much as I wanted him to. I'm gonna be going ahead and accepting this offer to Vitorul. His time here was good. He had some very, very good games. Paul Kerr is asking if he can be involved in the next game. Yes, and you're on the loan list, but we'll see what happens. Millwall, Nobs FC, round two of the Carabao Cup. Now let's go ahead and make some big changes. So we're gonna go with Jerome Watson, playing as the left winger, left midfielder. Yandi Setiabud is gonna be starting, going back to the 4-2-3. One and I stole this from Manchester United, so we'll see if maybe we play it like them. I actually stole this uh, this tactic and this formation from Manchester United to see if we I don't know maybe play like them. You know what? I'm gonna start Jerome Watson as the attacking midfielder. Let's start Asbjorn Jensen as the winger with Yandi Setiabudi on the other side. Let's see if these guys can maybe make an impact in the Carabao Cup. Isaac King in goal, making his first start. The Jamaican. They've got the five two three but it's Millwall I think championship or league one they're making us wear our home kit and let's see if Nobs FC can advance to the next round so this is why I kept Matt Butcher and I don't know I, I think it would be a good idea I didn't change the sleeves on Isaac King so he just looks a little bit foolish with these these small arms I'm gonna need to go ahead and fix that Roman Scott starting I changed the numbers of him and George Marsh Karen's up top Let's see if Jerome Watson can build off that big performance. Roshan Williams with the armband because we're starting Franco. We don't have Nishimura. We don't have Tunjov and we don't have Koiki. So we needed to give the captain's armband to somebody. And it went to Roshan Williams who's been here for quite a couple seasons. Had a great first game against Chelsea. And he's just going to be so great for depth, guys. See what the Icelandic winger can do. Got a history of Icelandic players at Nobs FC. <laughs> Our first signing was Arneson, <laughs> the Icelandic center back who did retire as Lance Cairns looking to get something going. Great ball. Roman Scott is trying to hold him offside. And Bennett now going to chip it to Mitch. And they're right. It's as easy as that. No FC go down 1 0. But it's just an early start for Millwall. As they take it so close to Isaac King, no idea what they were going to do. Chips it in. And that's just a lovely finish as there's absolutely nothing that can be done. That's offside. Surely. Saw that one. Roman Scott. Butcher. Alex Allen. Let's get a goal here, guys, please. Jerome. Karen, space opening up for him to play in behind Roman Scott who started the whole play. Great stuff, Roman Scott venturing forward. Great goal, assisted by Lance Cairns. Great ball by Cairns. They didn't feel like making a challenge. They just stopped, tried to drop back. And that's Roman Scott showing his offensive side. He always does get forward, and this time just took it, ran with it, went up, scores himself the goal. Right back in this one. Jerome Watson playing in the Nishimura role today. Lance Cairns. Watson getting forward. Yandi. Can we send them? Great ball by Lance Cairns. Can he return the favor? Great ball. There's Jerome Watson. Ball to Roman Scott. Lance Cairns. Roman continuing to go forward. Look at him venturing forward as Roman Can you call the foul referee, man? Great game from Roman Scott. Great game. All around the pitch. Jerome. Good ball from Lance Cairns. Good burst of speed by Jerome Watson. Inside the box trying to take it onto that left foot just not enough power behind the shot from jerome did everything but finish roshan nicely done osbjorn fine cairns heavy pass as lance cairns good strength just outside the box maybe looking to take in as lance a cairns what a strike i'm losing my voice 2-1 hopefully this could be the season for lance cairns that cements him as like the next big thing what a strike from just outside the box it's, it, what a strike with his weak foot and as always man the, the ball just seems to always fly over the bar but not this time Cairns with a great strike it's 2-1 good ball to Yandi struggles to get the touch but does well as Yandi set to Abudi. good strength by Yandi gonna drop it back to Roman Scott sends the cross in Alex Allen good chest by Alex Jerome Watson looking to maybe hit the shot but finds Osbjorn tight angle and then Tries to curl it. Good strike by Osbjorn. Just trying to stretch them out wide, guys. And take it in. 
And a great strike by Osbjorn, saved by the goalkeeper. Don't tell me he's going to get to that. Don't tell me he's going to get to that as Bennett. Roman Scott, come on man, what a game he's having. What a game Roman Scott is having. Alex Allen. Jensen. Right away, oh lovely by Vega. Sends Jerome Watson, can he send him in behind? The final ball is always missing power, but then when I need power... This game doesn't make any sense, man. I put no power on the pass, it goes uh, flying. I put so much power on the pass, it goes nowhere. ZOL, go guys. That's not where I want the ball to go. That's a mistake on my end. Leonard, good ball in. Roshan's there. Good clearance by Roshan. That's going to be the end of the match. Lance Cairns with one. The other goal was scored by Roman Scott. And guys, we're into the next round. As Lance Cairns, I think, with a goal and an assist. He even had an assist in the first game. So maybe putting his name in a player of the episode, Roman Scott with an 8.9. Yeah, I was right. Cairns with a goal, an assist. Roman Scott with one goal. Maybe could have had two. Maybe could have got us a penalty. But that's Nobes FC into the next round. Amazri, loan agreement to Vitorol. I mean, Freiburg. Oh, what am I saying? No, <laughs> somebody else. As Simonis is going to be hopefully joining Vitorol. Can maybe be good for his career. A bunch of matches rescheduled for sure because of the cup. Next up is Manchester United. So Wilhelma Simonis has been sold. He looked promising in, in the lower leagues, but then obviously we needed to look maybe a, a little bit more than that. As Nobs FC, Manchester United, we have another transfer offer for El Masri. There was one last time from Arsenal. I'm pretty sure he's going to be joining uh, Freiburg on loan. It's still ongoing. 2.95 million. I don't want to accept this because maybe we could see what happens when he comes back. He does look great at 18 years old, already 70 overall, has some massive stats. And there are some players leaving on international duty, hopefully. No injuries. Manchester United, Nobs FC, this one's at Old Trafford. So we'll see uh, about just making Manchester United play their lineup. If they want to go with that lineup, they go for it. But I'm pretty sure they're playing their best lineup. Pelistri looks great. I, I think we can actually go ahead and wear our away kit here. I know it might not contrast well, but they do have the white short. So at least there's that. I don't know about maybe some changes I want to make to the lineup. Roman Scott had a fantastic game. Jerome Watson keeps having good games. Cairns has a, a goal or an assist in every match we've played today. Roshan Williams played fantastic against Chelsea, but right now Asmaya want to continue to ride that form he's in with Al Sharani in goal, Garner and Tonjov, Nishimura on the right, Watson on the left, Cairns, Skamaka, the deadly duo of Cairns and Skamaka. Let's hope that we can beat Manchester United because they've given us such stupid games in the past and they're still, they still have Ravkovic. Last time we did beat them, so maybe we could get another victory against Manchester United. Martinez up top, Fernandez behind Behind them this is gonna be a tough match against first place Manchester United so I don't know why the music is playing here at Old Trafford but to not get copyrighted I guess I'm gonna skip the whole pre-match presentation remember last time we played against them Cairns with that amazing goal just slipping past the defenders getting that crucial header to seal the victory and a big victory it was really helped us out last season to finish in 12th finish mid table this season I have a little bit higher aspirations I'd like to win a cup, whether it's a Carabao Cup, whether we can try and win the FA Cup, I'm all for it. But if we're going to play against teams like Manchester United, Man City, who did win the Premier League last time, it's going to be tough. Trying to take the wing and use it to his advantage. That's a good ball in. Skamaka's there. The lick makes a mess of it. Comes down to Jerome Watson. Skamaka in the box. Good stuff by Skamaka. Turn. Ah, he's offside. Just can't give him this much time. I'm trying to select Garner. But every time I get onto Garner, it changes player for some reason. As Gaia, that game lagged. Oh my god, the game lagged so hard right there. Rashford. The dribbling by Marcus Rashford. One touch passing here is great. Fernandez. Trying to select Tunjov. Van de Beek. Georgi. Trying to get in a challenge. Nicely done. Just get rid of this. Marsh. Get on Rashford. Now Garner. Yeah, he's just doing spins, a spins, a spins, a spins. And get him off the ball. Good block by George Marsh, stopping Marcus Rashford from just dribbling, a dribbling, a dribbling. Fernandez, Rashford, Marsh going in, what a ch You, He got the ball. He got the ball, referee. Come on, man. That's a soft call as Pavo Asmai trying to get rid of this one. Not a good delivery. Jerome Watson, good touch, but needs to get it away. Van de Beek, good, good, good interception. McTominay, Tunjov. 
Nice, Georgie. Van de Beek. Lautaro. Kara. Good block by Tilo Kara. Nicely done. Just get rid of this Kara. Every time we're on the ball, we need to get rid of it. But Kara having a good game. Garner too. Tunjov go. McTominay. Just stopping them from getting in behind. Pelistri. He was already tired at the start of the match. We'll see how that affects him as Van de Beek. Good block. Oh, what a block by Kara. Fosu Mensa. I'm trying to select Jerome Watson. Can you just give me Jerome Watson for the love of Christ? Pelistri. Into Van de Beek. Good ball in. Come on, Al Sharani. Come on, Al Sharani. What a save on Marcus Rashford. It comes right back out to Van de Beek. That's offside. No. It hit off one of our players. Al Sharani with another big save. Keeping us in this one. Al Sharani. What a save on Marcus Rashford. Van de Beek with the shot and just parries it away for a Manchester United corner. It's been all them. We're going to look to get our chance as Rashford. Good block by Jer How is that a foul referee? You breathe on him. There's no COVID in this game. That's all right. Rashford taking the free kicks. Pavos, my solid header. Now Jerome needs to get rid of this, but look at the pressure. Lovely stop by Jerome. 74% of the possession in the last 15 minutes. Lautaro. Try to take wide and then come back in. Good ball in. Van de Beek. Fernandez. Don't make him shoot. Don't make him shoot. Don't make him shoot, guys. You don't know what to do. They're either going to shoot or just play it in. And there, Rashford. Great strike. Al Sharani can't save that one this time as he's been doing so well. And Manchester United, finally, it's been coming. Look, right here, it's either he passes in or shoots. But he gives it. Al Sharani can't save that one. That's Marcus Rashford with a great strike. Marsh and Kara trying to make the last ditch challenge. But that's why Manchester United are top of the table. Second goal for Rashford. 37th minute. Can we get an attack going? When the ball goes past Lance Cairns, I don't have a good feeling. Two minutes added on. Can Skamaka get something? Good ball to Lance Cairns. Struggles with the touch though. As Lance Cairns looking to send Skamaka forward. But he was offside and Gomez with the block. It's all right, guys. We're a little bit stressed right now as guard. Referee. That's a yellow card for Lautaro. That is a yellow card for Lautaro. Just get this forward, guys. Pavo. Not that much time left. Cairns. End of the first half. As Rashford scoring the own goal. I'm not blaming Kara on that. I'm blaming this game. He does have the dives into tackle straight. So, maybe. But he's had a solid half. We've had... We've just been on the back foot all half long as Rashford. Four attempts. Only one goal. His legs are going to go soon. Koike. Chasing. Pelistri, keep going Ali, okay it's crossed in, Tunjov, come on guys, quick counter, Jerome, Lance Cairns, he's got Skamaka, maybe waiting to play in the ball is Lance Cairns, Nishimura, we counter so well and then guys, you make me seem like a fool with that, come on, wake up, Skamaka, Tunjov, can he send Jerome Watson, good ball to Jerome, Watson, oh, what a save by the goalkeeper, Maybe that's why they're not playing De Gea. Tunjov. The animation looked a little bit weird. But it's a corner. As Tunjov. Skamaka's in there. Can we find him? Fosu Mensa. Leads to another Nobs FC corner. Skamaka, Pavo are in there. That's a ball. Pavo has my. It's going to come out to Jerome. Right away. James Garner. Looking to send somebody. Comes to Ali Koiki. Koiki going to take the wing. And maybe look to cross in as Ali. Bruno Fernandes, man. This guy, man. Scoring goals. He's everywhere. Right back to Jerome Watson. Good control by Jerome. Lance Cairns. Cairns. Just turning. Good stuff by Cairns. Finding Tunjov. Can he play in Skama? To lick with the block. It's like Manchester United make my team play so dumb. Van der Beek. Good ball to St. Maximin. When did they sign him? How many players have they signed Manchester United? I'm fed up. McTominay. They take off one guy and they bring on another who's just, just as good or even better. Fosu Mensa. McTominay. Asmai trying to get on that. McTominay inside the box. Good shot. Al Sharani sees that one. Let's go, guys. Pavo trying to start from the back here. Koiki. Jerome Watson. Great ball. Let's beat them with speed. It's McTominay. He's not that fast. Jerome going to take inside now. Jerome. Mc oh, Maron. Good block by McTominay and St. Maximin. Chase Koike. Running at the defense. He's got Cairns. Jerome Watson. Keep going, guys. Astonjov. Can he play Skamaka? Delict. <laughs> Delict, man. Oh, it's over. This is 
definitely over, man. The Ligt sees everything. They have 75 defensive midfielders. They have 75 midfielders, period. Uh, and they just sign, and they sign, and they sign. And I can't get anything. Tomohiro. Lovely by Tomohiro. Asmai. Tunjov. Nice ball to Tomohiro. Can he play in Skamaka? Return the favor. Good ball to Nishimura, who's in the box. Um, uh, um, uh, Delict. Yo, this guy sees everything. It's one thing to be good, but this guy is world class. As Dobbs FC, 1 0 lost to Manchester United. We lost 1 0 to Chelsea. So we've got, I, I guess, a decent track record as Marcus Rashford after scoring that goal. Literally so quiet. He did nothing. Oh, Jerome Watson maybe could have scored Nishimura if the Ligt wasn't there. Maybe could have drawn a level at the death, but that's a tough loss to swallow. I can't guarantee Yandi said Tiaboudi that many games this season. So I'm actually going to be delegating this loan to uh, Mines and see if he can get some stable playing time over there. So maybe we can use somebody else in the side to help out Tomohiro and Jerome Watson. Honestly... Nishimura has been a little bit quiet. Really has been a little bit quiet, but uh, I don't know, guys. It's nothing to be concerned about because he is the best player in our side right now. Does he have any assists? No. For the first time ever, Tomohiro Nishimura does not have a single assist, a single goal after four matches. Is it time for concern? All right, let's see what happens on deadline day, guys. I'm going to be keeping that money for, obviously, the academy. El Masri has been loaned out. Obviously, maybe see if we can do another pre-contract signing. We might need to rely on that, guys. And if people believe in our project and see that maybe we're trying to take on Europa League next season or try to qualify, then maybe they'd like to join us. Or maybe we can go straight ahead for an offer in January. And obviously, like I said, guys, the two signings per season was always to get the academy players as involved as possible. There was a poll at the beginning of the entire series so that's why Cairns transfer offer from Werder Bremen I'm just gonna be going ahead and rejecting every offer for Lance Cairns he seems like he's happy we just need to continue to play him and then he'll want to stay as six hours left no offers for any other players they've signed Zuma Leicester City Semedo they've sold Pride they've sold Under so that's some good piece of business and Nishimura they're saying that he continues to struggle Setia Budi is gonna be playing for Mines for the rest of the season which I'm happy about about hopefully they can give him some game time hopefully he can grow we'll assess him next season Liverpool signing so many players look at Manchester City Leao Cairns another transfer offer from Burnley don't even start Burnley gonna be rejecting that straight away and with three hours left do we have anything else probably not Manchester United actually sold David De Gea so that's why they played that other keeper and goal an hour left probably not going to be able to get any transfer offers through. Spire. Let's just go ahead and accept this. Why is LAFC coming after all our players? They came for Kai Skoun. They got him. They tried Emmanuel Seca. They didn't get him. Now they're trying to sign Isuf Spire, 21 years old, from Kosovo. We have too many center backs. It would have been nice. But right now, there's Roshan, Butcher, Asmai, Paul Kerr. And there was no offers for Paul Kerr. So I guess we need to go ahead and maybe try and play him. Try and rotate the side a bit. U Squad Monthly Report. We're going to go ahead and send our scouts back out. Spire not jo joining Cairns. An offer from Benfica, but I was always going to go ahead and reject. Take a look at the stats right now. As Nishimura, no goals, no assists. Arsenal coming up next. Skamaka with three and four Premier League matches, which is such a great conversion ratio. Couldn't score against Manchester United. Cairns, two goals, three assists. Honestly, there was Jerome Watson who was doing well, but Cairns, he did even better in the two games we played. So I think I'm going to be going ahead and giving Lance Cairns the player of the episode because I really do feel like he actually does deserve. As usual, it's plus three and three random stats. Like I said, guys, Cairns, that first game, he got uh, an assist. He got a, a goal and an assist in the Carabao Cup. Manchester United, he was trying to do some stuff but i really do think like he does deserve it he's been deserving it for maybe some episodes we missed out on so let's randomize lance cairns it's going to be long shots vision and finishing but can you give this guy an even better upgrade than this probably not such a great upgrade because now that makes him go up to a 75 guys cairns is in such good form submitted a transfer request we're gonna get rid of that but cairns now up to a 75 and honestly the player of the episode really reflects on what he did this 
episode. He scored, he scored a long shot, he, he got some assists, so vision, so it's nice to see that the upgrade actually makes sense for him. As Nobs FC currently sitting in 8th place behind Aston Villa, Liverpool, Sheffield, Manchester United, it was inevitable. Four, four games, four victories, eight goals, one against, and, and I can see why, because Matthias De Ligt literally blocked everything. Chelsea, Man City, Arsenal, Sheffield United in 5th place Liverpool behind them. If you guys have enjoyed this episode, hopefully you guys really do appreciate the signing. Kara is going to help us out, make us a lot more competitive this season. You saw him against Manchester United. He, he got that big block. But if you guys have enjoyed this episode, you guys can leave me a like down below. As always, the kit contest is going to be in a comment pinned down below. You guys can go check out the previous episode to see how to enter, to see how to vote for people's kits. And I will see you next time.